for the like. Dan I'm in here and welcome back to another episode of Starfield. We're back here at Neon. We're about to speak to Catherine. I'm afraid I'm not in the best of spirits right now, but I'll try and help. Well, I've waited 24 hours, so she better be good to go. Oh, there you are. I'm feeling a bit better today. Sorry about all that before. The thing is, well... I lost my husband, Thomas, last week. He... he supposedly had a heart attack and fell from the upper platform. Of course, that's the official word from Neon Security. I'm not so sure they're telling me the truth. Hmm, you suspect foul play. Damn right I do. How that security officer could stand there and tell me Thomas died of a heart attack. Well, it's a damn lie is what it is I, I'm I'm sorry this is my problem you're just here to shop and here I am filling your head with my conspiracy theories please forgive me I want to help you find out what happened to your husband oh, you're the first person in this awful awful city that's reached out to help me thank you no problem. You deserve to find out the truth. The truth is all I've ever wanted. I suppose the proper place to start would be with Neon Security's witness, Tevin Anastas, that pompous ass over at the Emporium in Neon. Just please be very careful. I don't want to end up with two murders on my conscience. Alright. Be careful. Leon is a dangerous place. It sure is. Right. Do I have my stealth thingy? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's head over at Seven Astus. Who's over here? I did sell a bunch of stuff. So I am now no longer over encumbered. So I can run way further, which is great. Because it was a real pain in the ass before. Uh, where the hell am I now? I need to go this way. One of the missions was actually to talk to this guy. I think it's another mission. I do have a skill point, but I haven't used it yet. Uh, ask Yannick. Talk with Barrett. Talk to... Yeah, so there's two... For this location of the ECS constant, that's the ship we just helped. Now, I've got a lot of talk to people, things happening here. All right, I need to talk to Tevin, whatever his name is, the Neon Emporium. Have I been in here before? Ah, it's this dude. Ooh. Everything is collapsing in your shop, my friend. Pick up an exquisite gift while you're here. Now I'm good. Are you sure you're in the right place? You certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. All that Mars is our work credits to spend. Damn, I almost wore my intelligent yet. Oh, my apologies, then. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few, shall we say, thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Hmm. You mean kill him? Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't know how. I've never been terribly good at that sort of thing. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Yeah, I could. I'd like to see what you have for sale. I'll handle this headlock thug. I want to talk to you about the death. I'll do this first. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. All right, but now... I don't think this will be a problem. That, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing. So you better watch your ass. Okay. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Will do. 
I need to ask you about uh, this dude, though. I'm not telling you a thing. I've already reported what I saw to security. Stop wasting my time and leave. Your presence is bad for business. Persuade. There's nothing to tell you. Get it through your skull. Hmm. What's the big deal? No one will care if you tell me. You're probably right. Keeping quiet about this must be hard on your conscience. Listen, I don't want anything bad to happen. Uh, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. You'd better be right. Oh my god, enough! I'll tell you what I know, if it'll get you to leave. Alright, that was easy. I saw it happen. Thomas was murdered and thrown into the ocean. Afterwards, I foolishly reported the incident to security. For my efforts, I was rewarded with a gun to my head and threatened with death if I didn't keep silent. Tell me who did it. It uh, was hard to hear over the commotion, but I'm sure I heard Thomas call his attacker Russell and Rusty a few times. From what I could gather, the attacker was after credits and Thomas refused to give him any. After that, well, Thomas went for a swim. Hmm. Where else would someone like him be, hmm? He stays at the sleep crates near Madame Sauvage's place. In any case, when you confront him, my name cannot be mentioned. I very much dislike sharing Thomas's briny fate. And with that, I must insist you leave me in peace. That is, of course, unless you'd like to make a hefty purchase. All right, find Rusty. We'll find Rusty, and then we'll take care of this other dude. It's like two birds, one stone. Uh, sleep crates near Madame Sauvages. Uh, down here, at Ebside, because Madame Sauvages is on the other side of this door. So we should be good. Right, so... Has that actually selected be a mission? I feel like it hasn't. Uh, I talked to Yannick about another shift at Xenofresh. That just seems to go on forever. Alright, these are all people that are in... What do you call it? I need to get sealant for Dr. Damish. Wait, has this been upgraded to a main storyline mission? Yeah. Seven deal with the Soko unjustified. Right, I want to do this. Find Rusty. I've got Old Faithful with me, so we should be good. Right, it's this way. Ooh, actually, I've got my points. And I'm going to stick it into Persuasion. Alright, that's a done. Succeed in 10 speech challenges. That could be difficult, although I might get one now. Hey, buddy. Why don't you throw a few credits my way, huh? Help a guy out, yeah? Wow. Let me guess. I'll end up in the ocean. Ha! <laughs> end up in the ocean? What the hell are you... Wait. No, no, no. He, he told me that everything was taken care of. No one would know. Listen, you gotta hear me out. I never meant to do anything. It was an accident. Tell me exactly what you did. Why'd you target Thomas? I needed some creds for Aurora. And everyone knows he and his wife run that shitty little shop. All they do is rip people off. He was bound to have creds. Who's he? What did he take care of? An old buddy in security. But that's all you're getting from him. I, I'd rather take my chances with you than with him. I got in a fight with Thomas. I asked him for some creds, but the bastard wouldn't give me any. Things got out of hand. He ended up falling off the upper platform. It was an accident, I swear. And okay. I, I called my buddy in security and told him what happened. He took care of everything after that. There are no consequences for your actions. Tell me who your friend in security I is. I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a rat. Listen, I messed up. I know that. But nothing can change what's already done. Just let me go and I'll disappear forever. No one will ever see me again. No one even needs to know I'm alive. Just come on, just let me go. 
That's not an option. I'm here to kill you. I'm not going to kill you, but you better disappear forever. Leave and never come back. Nope. No, I, I can't let that happen. Why couldn't you just let me go? Ha! He randomly set himself on fire. That was cool. Alright, return to Catherine. They didn't tell me who his buddy was in security, though. Alright. Everybody's screaming and going mental. I only killed one dude. What's up? I accidentally just bought something. <clears throat> I know what happened to your husband. Tell me everything you know. I want to hear it all. Uh, your husband was murdered, and the security officer covered everything up to protect the killer. I knew it. I just knew that I was being fed lies. Nothing added up right from the start. Neon security. How can they sleep at night and act like my husband's life wasn't worth anything? My husband's killer. Did you find him? What happened to him? Mmm. The killer's name was Rusty. Rusty. I believe he was one of the Jennerdine workers that would come around and cause trouble. Or steal things. Vandalize or the like. Oh, well, he's dead now. <laughs> My husband usually handled the troublemakers and became well acquainted with Rusty and his so-called friends. Vandalism and shoplifting is one thing, but murder? I just never thought things could go this far. So, what did you do with Rusty? Well, he's dead. Good. And <laughs> him too. An eye for an eye and all that. I'm not the type to wish death upon anyone, but he deserved worse for what he did to my Thomas. And about security. Did you find out which officer is behind the cover-up? Actually, I didn't. Never got a name. I didn't. I doubt that talking on security will end up well for either of us. Yes, you're right. It just boils my blood thinking about what they did. I must say that I feel oddly vindicated just by knowing the truth. The uncertainty was constantly eating away at me. At least I can take solace knowing that justice was served. At least to some degree. I never would have figured out the truth without you. I have credits for you here. Nah, it's okay. Keep your credits. Oh, you're so sweet. In any case... Please know how grateful I am that you helped me. You're the only person to ever show kindness to me in this city. And now that I know the truth, I can try to focus on healing. And buying yourself Thank some better you clothes. From both myself and Thomas. Alright. Okay. Next mission. Go and deal with this thug dude. Mom mentality. Ask Frankie about Headlock. Okay. And he's this way. This way. Okay, I need to go to the elevator. That's fine. Alright. Who's this Frankie? I have a mission to talk to a Frankie as well. Ooh, everybody's still freaking out up here. Crap. Yo, oh, Frankie. Can I help you? Never heard of him. Now, are you gonna buy something or just annoy me all day? I'm just gonna keep annoying you until you tell me. How am I supposed to know where he is? Ah, sweet manipulation. You're starting to make a lot of sense. You just won't give up, will you? Yeah. <laughs> that was easy. Headlock can't stand him. And I heard some of the other Sioka can't either. That boy doesn't know how to keep himself out of trouble. What'd he do this time? 
He's been terrorizing the Emporium. Well, if any place should be terrorized, it may as well be the Emporium. In any case, if you're so desperate to find him, he and his friends are probably hanging out in Warehouse 4 or somewhere near there. I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with him? <laughs> That's one way to punish him. <laughs> you'll just bore him to death. Sure will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a business to get back to. If you aren't gonna buy anything, you'd better run along. All right, see you later. Deal with headlock. <laughs> All right. Hello, Neon security person. This is where I killed the dude? I think it is. Seems randomly sitting there. Alright, Warehouse 4, here we go. I am hidden. I am still hidden. Ooh, there are some people down here. We are detected. I just need to talk to you, dude. Do I have business with you or something? You do. And who do we have here? You here for business or to get your head caved in? Oh, all you people are gonna die. Is that so? I'm not just some low-life thug anymore. I'm with the Sioka now. You mess with me, you'll mess with the whole syndicate, and that won't end well for you. I'm not looking for any Tread trouble. Carefully, then. The Sioka isn't something you want to be messing with. So go on, Hotshot. Give me a reason why I should leave Tevin and his shitty little store alone. Go on, enlighten me. But don't waste my time. He seems weak minded, so we should be able to. Uh, ooh. <sighs> Looking over your shoulder in neon can get old. Yep, sure can, buddy. I can auto persuade this dude. Jeez, just take it easy, will ya? It kills me to say this, but I see your point. Fine, we won't go around to the Emporium any longer. I don't believe you. You piece of shit. I'm through being nice. Yep, should have listened. Credits. No credits. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, let's go. Ah, the Sequoia. Whatever the hell they're called. <laughs> they're missing four people now. Right, let's go back and tell the dude. Hey, the Strikers. Let's go back. Oh, everybody's still running around crazy. I could hear them screaming in the background. <laughs> right, let's head back to the Emporium. I wanted to persuade him first so I could Be get careful. the persuasion Headlock bonus. Is a dangerous gentleman. Yeah, not anymore. He's super Headlock dead. Destroy our shops if he isn't taken care of soon. Oh my! Now that is a true relief. I thought I would never be rid of him. I'm not one to get involved with the rabble, so I'm glad you came along when you did. Thank you for your help. No problem, dude. It All was right. good to have you in my shop. Farewell. See you later. Alright, that's good. He's super dead. Okay. What else can we do here? Uh, mob mentality is done. Alright. Ask Yannick. No. Frank Rannick. 
This is on Neon as well. Alright, let's go and speak to Frank. There seems to be a lot of missions in Neon. Oh, it's this dude. What's up, Frank? What can I get you? You've got a mission for me or something. Take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Cool eye patch. My store, my rules. Yep, if no you problem. Like it, talk to Sticks. He runs our um, complaints department. <laughs> uh, a robot can't hold out. Who is Sticks? That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. I could drag down the person. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you. Got a low. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The low life that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. God, dude. Can you ever get nightmare sticks about the war? Oh, wow. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please <laughs> Here, they really did a number on him. Right, it's obviously just some punk kids, so probably not gonna brutally murder them like I have everyone else in this episode. Bare metal. Speak to Warlord. Right, here we go. Uh, right, I need to go this way. Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, he's in Euphorica. Okay. It's actually in the building. That's fine. Okay. Oh, he's... Sure, I like art. You should see the tag job on the robot and neon tags that goes my best work. <laughs> Down your third velocity and you're out cold. By the third Only when I have a knife in my hand. <sighs> Rest of the time, I don't know about you. I just paint. Yeah, I guess you're right. That cycle up should be spanking me. I dressed up his toy real nice, gave a total makeover. That's all I did after what that thing did to my crew. Ooh. I thought it was pretty clever. If I trashed it, it'd stink for a bit, but he'd get over it. So I took a can of spray paint, put my tag on it. Now every time that Cyclops opens up that eye, he's gonna see my art on his buddy. What happened to your crew? The freak didn't tell you? I figured he'd be gloating about it. Man's got nothing else. We tried to rob his store and reload our crew. That's when his little toy unloaded on us. Lots of good disciples in that group. If anything, that freak should be paying me. Yeah, I do. And I'll make art out of your guts if you step out of line. Nah, this guy's an asshole. Bye -bye, mate, punk. Let's paint. They're picking us off. Anybody else want to die? Retrieve the credits. Warlord's credits. What about you? Did you have credits? No. The disciples are not great people. So I don't mind killing them. I want, it'd be cool if I could steal their their uniforms, though. They've got some nice get-ups there. Micah knows how to make a drink. Disciple streetwear. Yeah, take that. All right. So I've got M-Side, Striker, Streetwear, and Disciple Streetwear. 
What does this actually look like? I've got my striker mask wear on. Ah, yeah, look at it. Cool. It's not very clean. All right, fire at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to go around this way to get back. What happened to this dude? Are these people I killed earlier? I think it is. I could take these guns and sell them. I'm gonna do that. I'll sell them to Frank. Uh, you. Not all of them? I think it is. Alright. I will be over in Cumber now. That's the only problem. Excuse me. Right. Uh, ooh, ah. Warlord isn't going to bother you anymore. Work. I hope you made him squirm. Mm, not really. Just one tapped him. Better one better. Fine by me. That delinquent little punk deserves it. Thanks. Styx is going to get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's going to look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. How's this month looking? I've got more than you can handle. Alright, that's good. But I need to sell you some stuff. Right, now I just need to find out what is not main and what is main. That looks like main. That looks like main, main. Also, I've got two of these. Now, this is my one that I upgraded. High-powered armor piercing round suppressor red dot sight and laser sight. But I have the red dot sight. But it's not on this weapon. And here's one I picked up or I got from the captain of the Constance. And it does have an actual red dot sight. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I can't remember what I took off these. And Commander, Commander's Beowulf is main. That's main. I guess it's going to be on the cheap side since there, those weapons were unmodded. Yeah, so I can sell this. He's got plenty of creds. So that's nice. The Beowulf. Extended Mag Maelstrom. 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 Alright, sold all that crap. That's good. And I'm now no longer over encumbered. I knew a guy a few years ago who ran up a hell of a tab with me. Now, I'm talking thousands of credits, but at least he'd make regular payments. One day the payment stopped, so I tracked him down. Found out he got mixed up with an Aurora dealer and uh, fell platform. Since I had a legit claim, the city awarded me his property, which amounted to the contents of a storage container. Guess what I found inside? It took me a few months to scrounge up the parts, but I'd say I did a pretty decent job getting sticks up and running. Yeah, cool. Out of my business, so up into your eye. Why do people give you a hard time about having sticks around? I know you'll be surprised, but... Thanks to my sparkling personality, I don't exactly have the easiest time making friends. That means I spend a lot of time talking to sticks. And Model A robots, they're not really programmed for casual conversation. The net result is I end up talking to a machine and... Look like <laughs> <an astronaut. laughs> yeah, maybe I am. Alright, catch you later, Frank. Hey, sticks, uh, I met a miner from Kazan. All right. Now what? I've done all of that quite a few things today. Talk to Borealis. Is he on Neon? <laughs> he is. Okay. Screw it. Let's talk to Borealis. Oh, where the hell's this guy? Is 
It's great not being over encumbered. It really is. Right, up the stairs we oh god, we're going into this nightclub. It's bloody the Astral Lounge. I hate this place. Uh, it's so blue. Alright, so this guy's upstairs. Okay, she's partying way too hard. Oh my god. Where the hell am I? Wait. Oh, he's the DG. How does one get to said DG? Ah, this way. Oh, Borealis the lady. I need to talk to you. Oi. You, lady, speak. Yeah, sorry. I don't do autographs. Yeah, I don't want an autograph. I was going to offer you mine. <laughs> now that would be something new for a change. You can't even imagine how many people ask for an autograph for Victor after we've been modding all night. It gets really annoying. I would imagine it does. You should be flattered to have some my fans. Hey, I love my fans. I just don't like when they take things too far, you know? My music slate's gone. Completely vanished. I had all of my new songs figure out on that thing. And someone ripped me off. Total drag. I could help you find the slate. Oh, man. Wow. That'd be so cool. Yeah, please. I thought I sensed a decent aura around you when you walked up. If it keeps the music flowing, that'll be worth the effort. Exactly. So, anything you can do to help is appreciated. Oh, and if you're looking for a lead, talk to Micah. She works the bar at Euphorica, and she's a walking grapevine. Anyway, I got to figure out how I'm going to mod my next set. I'll see you around, okay? All right. Hmm. Well, most of the people who come through here are fans, and they're either zoned or just digging the rhythms. That leaves collectors, competitors, or just a thief trying to make a cred. It could be anyone, really. People try to put a price on everything. Doesn't matter if it's music or the stars. If that price is big enough, you start attracting people with bad vibes and long knives. Only a matter of time before you get cut. All right. Hope you enjoy the show. All right. See you later. Oh Christ! I can't get faster. A faster way down here. Oh yeah. Excuse me, people. Oh, oh, oh! I need to escape this hellhole. Right there we go. <laughs> right. So down at the four couple. Okay, we're just there. I need to find website. Right, hold on. I don't think it's tracking this mission anymore. Super fun. Yeah, speak to Micah. Yeah, this way. That's fine. I'm starting to get to know this place because I've been here so bloody long. But it's fine. Oh, your fork is right there. That's awesome. Hello, my dis- Oh, they've cleared away the bodies. Okay. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members' lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. I'm good. Uh, I'm just looking to relax. Of course, of course. We have a full bar at your disposal with a range of delicious alcoholic beverages. If you desire access to the lounge, you can purchase admittance for a completely reasonable fee. Otherwise, you're welcome to relax, listen to our music, and perhaps enjoy a chimera. Hmm. I think I'll pass on the membership. Any other perks come with this? 
Not only will you be able to experience one of the most exclusive Aurora lounges in Neon, you also have access to our private bar. The bartender down there is a personal friend of mine, and he sells some rather unique items. Oh, okay, right. This guy is gonna... A wise choice. Here's your access key. This guy's gonna have Let the slate. Anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. If you need anything else, please, don't hesitate to ask. Alright, I'm looking for more information. I still want slate. I see. I'd be willing to divulge this information for the right price. Thank you for your business. The man you want goes by the name of Stratos. You'll find him at Madame Savage's. He's what you would call a fan of Miss Borealis's works. Or maybe fanatic is a more accurate term. Mm. Either way, he's the one you want. But you didn't hear it from me. All right. Enjoy your drinks. Love the vibe of this place. Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. Yeah, the members' lounge. There's a bartender here. Okay, you, you've got some unique On stuff. Of Euborica, I welcome you to our members' lounge. Cool here. I'll be happy to provide whatever you need for my private bar to enhance your experience. Can I get you anything? Some Aurora, perhaps? Oh, right, 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 thanks. No purchases are required. You're more than welcome to simply relax, absorb the energy, and center yourself. We also offer an assortment of beverages, so feel free to browse our selection anytime. How did you end up here, Caillou? Oh, pardon. I find that fraternizing with the customers can lead to problems. I prefer my private life remain my own. Cool. No offense intended. None taken. I can respect Thank that. You. Let me know if I can help in any other way. You're welcome to sit back, relax, and enjoy your time here. And these are people are yeah, particle weapon specialist. People that I can hire. All right, at least we've explored this place. All right, let's go to Madame Savages and talk to Stratos. I think I can get to the other side. No. Perhaps, maybe not. Yes, I can. No, actually, I could walk all the way around. Or I could just cut through Central Neon to get to the other side. Okay. Madame Sauvages is, yeah, it's right there. It's perfect. Now, the outside strikers used to stay here, but they're gone now. Oh, there he is. Oh, it's the ship stealing lady. I can't talk to you. What's sad? Let's see if you'd steal a ship from me. Yo, dude. <laughs> Mate, oh, I love her music so much. Me too. You're a fan of Borealis too? I vibe with that bird hard. She's a beast on the beat. And I love her. Got a track in me head right now. Boom. 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 This guy's <laughs> mental. It? It's bloody mood, isn't it? <laughs> I just need some more Aurora so I can get me head bobbing with the wave. Find that zone. Sounds like you're a big fan. Yeah, which is why it pains me to be here and not in the Astral Lounge. I can't stand being away from that place. And, uh, but I can't listen to Borealis if I'm not zoning. That bird song deserves the best eye Aurora can Lie. Uh, okay. Mate, there's no way in hell I'm giving you this. This slate brings me closer to her. 
As a biggest fan, I feel like I deserve to have it. I'll trade you Aurora for it. I don't think I have any Aurora. I'll try and persuade him. Why would I part with the one thing that connects me to her? Okay, don't have an auto persuade. I can use manipulation though. You may be right. All right, this is going to be more difficult though. I'm going to go with this. Really? I didn't think she even knew who I was. As much as I hate to admit it, you're right. Okay, you can have the state. I don't have to kill you. I want to hear a mod so sick it beats the piss out of my brain. <laughs> All right, weirdo. <laughs> okay, let's give her the sleep back, and then we'll end the episode there. We've done quite a lot in Neon today. It's like four missions or something. And we need to go back to the Astro Lounge. Oh, God. It's horrible in there. <laughs> Alright, it's this way. Neon Security HQ. Alright, here we go. Back into the hell that is the Astral Lounge. God damn it, so bloody bright in here. <laughs> right. I'm sure she'll be happy to get the slate back. Oh, yeah, don't go that way. Yo, Morialis. You do know me. They can get pretty possessive. Doesn't matter if it's my things or my time. Sounds tough. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. True, but that's the price of fame. You should be grateful without fans. Yeah. Yeah, it's not all bad. Love can be toxic, but can be beautiful. Sometimes people just confuse the two. But sounds like it all worked out in the end. I got my slate, which means the people will get their trip. Inspiration's like a wave. Sometimes it's hard to catch it before the break. That's what this slate is. A still wave. A feeling frozen in time. And I appreciate you bringing it back to me. No problem. Yeah, it looked like nothing was downloaded or tampered with. I'm almost glad it was taken by a fan instead of a competitor. Would have been awful to lose that thing. I was working on a brand new concept piece about floating into the center of existence. I'm not feeling it yet. I'm still working out the last few sections, but eventually I'll give it a spin in the Astral Lounge. Thanks again for finding that thing. Next time, I'll try and keep an eye on it. All right. See you later. Home safe. Will do. All right, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you'd like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Men. This has been Starfield, and I will catch you later.